Are you sick of paying a fortune for e-signature request softwares? Or do you not even have one and you are sending your clients a PDF for them to just print and sign and upload and you're not utilizing any type of e-signature process? I'm so excited to share with you a feature inside of Google Workspace that's going to fix all of those issues for you. Before we get started, I'm Lauren with The Smarter Creative, and I help creative small business owners work smarter in their businesses instead of harder, and that is exactly what we're doing today with Google Workspace's new e-signature tool. Okay, so what is Google's e-signature tool? So e-signature literally means electronic signature. <laughs> It's already included in your Google Workspace, not for free Google Drive email users, but if you actually pay for Google Workspace, it's already included on the individual plan. You might have to request it if you're on a bigger business plan, but I've got a link down below for you to request it for your business. Okay, so why do I like it? The first reason is it eliminates the need to have to pay for a standalone e-signature service, like a DocuSign or something like that. Second, it's super easy to use. You're gonna see it in action in a minute. It's literally drag and drop. It's just so simple. You can request up to 200 email signatures at once. I don't know why you would need that, but it lets you, so I don't know. <laughs> You can easily track who has signed and who hasn't signed right from the document. And it's a legally binding document. They follow Adobe's compliance standards. I'll actually share more about how it's legally binding and give you some details there if you care at the end of the video. But for now, let's just go ahead and see how it works inside of your Google Workspace. Okay, so you want to pull in your contract as a Google Doc. And to do that, you can hit new Google Doc and create it. I have one already here. This needs to have some additional information plugged into it. So I would put like the client name and all of their information here, edit it, make sure all the services are correct, the price is correct, everything like that. We're gonna make sure this contract is what we want it to be exactly. And then wherever you want the signature or there's even an initial spot put in, that's where you're gonna drop it. Okay, so I'm gonna put it all the way at the bottom here. And then I'm gonna come up to tools, e-signature. And here are the different client fields that you can drag over. So we'll probably start with them putting in their name. And then we'll do their signature. There's also the ability to do initials and a fill in the blank text as well for them. And then I will also pop in the date signed there. And here in the text field, you put a placeholder in it. So it could be like position and then you can choose a font size for it. The rest of the fonts are pretty large so I wouldn't make it too small and you can drop it in. You can do this for multiple people and then you can assign different fields. You can add manage signers and add another signer and say client two, save. And then you can drop down to client two and drag in their signatures here. We'll do it in order. Signature, name, date, Next, same thing, we'll go position and 11, Sign, size, perfect. Okay, so now this is ready to be sent for signature, right? So now what we need to do is hit request e-signature here, and then you get to drop in the different email addresses for it. And what happens here, there's a note that shows you here. It's going to turn your Word doc into a PDF, then that PDF will get signed. So as soon as you send this off, it's gonna lock the PDF. There's no edits to it. If you need to make changes, you're gonna to have to edit the Word doc and then re-request a signature from them. But I'm gonna put in some test emails. So you have to have their email addresses and then we can say, hey, excited to work with you please sign off. Perfect. 
and you get to pick your audit trail language and then we're going to request ESIG. It's saying that these are external um, people to my organization, so I am gonna share anyway because I want them to have it. Lovely, we hit okay. So it gets created directly inside of my drive. So if I go to PDFs, I will be able to see it here. And then you could uh, file it away. I can organize it, move this, and I can actually move it to one of my client's folders here. I could go into my drive, go to my clients, and then pick a client to move it to. And then it's organized. I got a copy of the email here and you can see the two people I sent it to and it has the waiting on it and I can even open it up from there to see the status of it and it says e-signatures pending here. All right, so let's go see what it looks like on the client side. Okay, sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to ask real quick, if you are finding this video helpful, will you just please give it a thumbs up real, 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 real quick? Okay, okay, that's it, all right, thanks. Okay, so this is from within one of the recipients' emails and I'm going to hit open. So when I open on it, this is what it looks like. It says signature pending up at the top. I can reject it. I have you details here, which will show me all pending signatures and the note that came with it. I can download it, but here at the bottom, it shows me where my spots are to sign. So I can click on it, put my name, adopt and sign. There's no formatting any of this. This is just what it looks like. And then once that's done, we can hit mark complete. Oh no, I have to sign it. There we go. Mark complete. I have agreed to the terms of service. Of, that's the terms of service of using Google's e-signature. And then I got a notification that person had signed the e-signature request and I'm seeing that I'm still waiting on the other person to sign as well. And here it automatically updated that the one person signed. So let me finish it off with the other person. Okay, so I got a notification that my second uh, signee signed it, and then I got a notification that the document is ready and it's been fully executed by all signatures. And I also got the document is ready and notification that the co-person has signed it from the sign other signee spot as well. So there's a lot of notifications that go out and then you get a copy of the completed agreement. And this is what it looks like. So I have the two people signed information here and then an audit trail with it. When each person signed it, the date and when it got sent and then the completed date and time as well. So that's a nice little audit trail to see how long it took them to sign or whatever else you needed for. So if I wanted to then send the same service agreement to my next client, I would change their name, the terms and conditions, the amount, anything that is applicable to them. And then again, request e-signature and that PDF is going to get created and we'll just redo the whole thing. The Google Doc that you're working out of never goes to the client. It's only the PDF that gets created when you select request e-signature. So you're able to continue to edit the same Google Doc for multiple clients and then it's secured in that signed PDF request and execution that you then create. All right, I told you I would tell you how it's legally binding. So I have my notes here. This is what it means with the whole Adobe compliant thing. And I'm not a lawyer or anything. This is just me doing research and trying to help you out. You please, please do your own research and talk to your own lawyer and all these things. Okay. Google's e-signature tool adheres to the legal requirements for electronic signatures in most countries, including definitely the United States and the European Union. So if you're not in those two places, I don't know. I don't know if this is legally binding for you, but in those places, the law recognizes the e-signatures as legally equivalent to a handwritten signature under specific conditions. Industry standard, because it's using Adobe's standard, it is using specific cryptographic methods and security protocols to ensure the integrity and authenticity of the signatures. It's pretty cool. Google utilizes a digital certificate from a 
Adobe Approved Trust List, AATL, compliant authority. So this means that the certificates used to validate the signatures are issued by a trusted third party. So it means Adobe's super stringent requirements. Adobe eSign, like Adobe signature requests are super simple as well. If you're already paying for an Adobe suite, check those out as well. So the Google e-signature provides authenticity, making sure the person who signs is verified to who they are, the integrity of the document. Like once it's been signed, there's no alteration of the document. It is locked down. You cannot change it once it's signed and it's a non repudiation. So the signer cannot deny having signed the document, which is super cool. All of those things makes the Google's e-signature tool legally admissible in court and enforceable under most circumstances. So yeah, again, check with any specific laws and regulations that you have. I will say there is a note in their terms of service that it needs to be used under same jurisdiction. I take that to mean the same country, like the court of law in the United States is the court of law in the United States and it's not the same as in the EU. But again, do your own research, check it out. But those are the highlights. And I do want to say if you are looking for some contract help and hiring a lawyer is just not in your budget yet, I really enjoy the Not Your Average Law Firms Contract Club and I'll link it down below. It's really, really great. They've got all kinds of contract templates and how to use it and how to make sure your different clauses are set up right. Braden, who runs it, does a great tutorial on how to build your contracts out well. And they have an amazing uh, Facebook group to ask questions about them and they're always continuing to build and grow it. So if you want to check out the Contract Club, it's 50 bucks and you get access to well over a dozen different contracts. Definitely go check it out down in the description. And now you might be asking, but Lauren, doesn't Dubzato do e-signatures? Aren't you a Dubzato specialist kind of person? Yes, I am, but I understand there's a lot of people in the world that don't use Dubzato. It's too robust for them, or I don't know, they just, they don't want another tech tool. And I'm not one to shame anybody and not wanting another tech tool. I totally get it. But if you are a Dubsado user or you're thinking that you need help organizing your client information and stuff more, I just want to share a few points of where using Dubsado for e-signatures in their contract feature is just so much better than the Google e-signature thing that we just went over. It's great, but it's, it is lacking. So the first way it's lacking are the advanced features. So obviously Dubsado is an entire client relationship management tool, CRM, and it manages not only contracts and e-signatures, but invoicing, scheduling, sending of forms and questionnaires, taking in leads from a lead form on your website. It does automating of client communications throughout the process while you're working with them. It just does so much. And Google does not do any of that natively. It does maybe a couple, like you can send a form, you can send a contract, but you, you can't send an invoice through Google. You can't link them together to automate. If one thing happens, then another thing happens. It's just lacking where Dubsado isn't. The second thing why I would choose Dubsado over it is honestly the design of it. I do not like how the look of the Google signature page looks. It's fine. It's doable, whatever. But that font date is so big. That confirmation page is so blocky. It's just not the experience that I want to share with people. When you work with me, there are a lot more design options. You can use CSS inside of Dubsado to get your signature spots looking exactly how you want them. There's just more control over the design of the form in general. And you can have other fill in the blank like spots on your contract. So maybe on your contract, you want to ask yes or no questions or checkbox type questions. You can do all of that on a contract inside of Dubsado that you cannot do inside of the Google Doc. Uh, but I mean, you can do that one text field <laughs> fill in, but that's it. And you can't even change the width of it. So I don't, I'm, the customization is just so much better in Dubsado. The overall integration is so much better with Dubsado. You can connect it to Zapier where if somebody signs the contract, then they get added to your email marketing. They get a new project set up in your project management 
tool. You get a to-do to send them a welcome gift. It's also natively integrated with payment processors and accounting software, which is really nice to have already in the system. Plus Zoom and Google Meet and all these. It's, anyways, it does a lot. It does a lot. We already talked about it, but I just wanted to keep talking about it. <laughs> also, the client experience experience is so much better within Dubsado. It's just more flawless. There isn't the option to have multiple request doors, so they would only get the one notification email once it's been completed. You can have multiple spots on the contracted side of Dubsado, like signature spots, but it all has to be filled out at the same time. There's no requesting the contract from this person and this person. Like signatures go on at one time and then it locks it down. That's and then once they've submitted the contract inside of Dubsado, they get an email copy of it automatically and it goes automatically inside of their client portal if you've activated it and you can share the portal with your clients for them to reference back to the contract. So that way it's not up to them to have to know where it is at all times. You know exactly where to direct them for the signed contract. And the, the portal not only has a signed contract in it, but any other forms that you sent, invoices, schedulers, emails, so much. The client portal, the cold client experience in Dubsado is just, it's beautiful. It's so well done. The last thing I want to point out is the support and resources that Dubsado has as a whole. I don't know, sorry, my dog's underfoot. If you're a Dubsado user, there's this little chat button in the bottom right hand corner on Dubsado and you can click on it and you can literally chat with one of their team um, members. They're out in California and they are so helpful. Even the little bot that like initially answers you is really helpful and might even be able to get you the answer that you need. And Google does not have that. It just, it does not have that. It does not have a bot that's like there to help you. It does not have real people you can talk to that can help you. It has none of that. Dubsado is just, uh, they're so supportive. They're so great. So to wrap it all up, I do think that Google's new e-signature feature is super great, super helpful for people where it, it fits exactly what they need. If you've been not using e-signatures at all or paying for something expensive that does the exact same thing, it's free, it's convenient. What's not to love about it? Well, I guess unless you want the more robust CRM features and then go check out Dubsado's e-signature process as one of the many, many, many parts of what is included with your super affordable monthly rate uh, with your Dubsado CRM. Like honestly, I would think that a CRM that does all of this would be like hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month, but it's under 50 bucks a month. And if you use my code down in the description, I can get you 30% off your first month or year of your Dubsado. So go check it out and try it. It also comes with a free trial, unlimited time. It just limits you to how many clients you can have inside of your Dubsado, but it's really nice. You're not on that forced two week time period to figure out if you like it or not. You can start a free trial and then come back to it in two months whatever like it's great <laughs> if you love tech tips like this one and you want a expert systems person in your corner for your google workspace or your dubsado be sure to subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this and better yet join the waitlist for the membership that i have coming up if you want somebody that can talk tech to you in a way that you actually understand that's what we're doing inside of my membership and i'm so excited to be there to answer your questions as they come up to share new trends that are coming out things that you might check out and to encourage you to continue to work in the systems that you already use and you already love so as a smarter creative society it's launching soon in the side of it is exclusive access to me with q a sessions and a whole online chat forum that we can just go back and forth and talk about all the things that it takes to run your business that you don't even have the slightest clue how to use it. That's where I come in. I want to be able to help you inside of it. So if you're at all interested in having a tech person in your corner, join the waitlist down below. I will open it early for those waitlist people at a discount. So be sure you're on the waitlist and I'm excited to launch it here soon. If you have any requests for other training videos, drop them down below and I would love to put one together for you. And that's it for today. I'll see you next time.